I'm Sham, this is Indu. So we're going to start by giving overall comments and then um, the schools that go into the finals will be uh, announced. Firstly, thank you to all the schools for two days of excellent theatre. Please give yourselves a hearty applause. We have watched 16 schools. We have seen um, schools exploring. We have seen schools stretching young thespians beyond limits. So it was a fabulous weekend for us. Um, Firstly, uh, school number one, day one, is anybody here? Right. speech, the drama and, and the, the emotions that came out of your choral speech was fantastic. Um, like the idea of uh, how we all presented the, yes. the whole uh, thing with the tent and the, the chorus being uh, <coughs> Yeah, and um, the use of live music was very refreshing to see, right? And it never drowned the, the actors yes. at any point? Um, areas to build on would be that this goes to all the players. Although you are not actively participating on stage, you are still in the audience's view. You are still part of the grand play. So you must make sure you are reacting or you are pay, paying attention. It should never be where you recite your lines and retreat. Right? The use of space was very creative. Um, Overall in, yeah. in, in, uh, interaction and uh, just a question. Did your boys have the costumes uh, on time or just in time? Just in time. Uh, that <laughs> that was the drawback for you. They because look they look very uncomfortable. And um, especially Roman kind of clothes where boys are in dresses. They they looked very um, this is again uh, a point for all, all schools, I suppose, but I'm taking Hikabe as the example. Character study is very important. Know your character before and know your character after, right? Um, I, I credit interpretation. That is what theatre is all about. However, when you choose classics, Hecabe was a queen, right? She became, she was reduced to a slave. However, all the epic stories will show you she never bowed down. That is very important. You must play the background of the person as well, right? But um, it, it it stretched your actors, which was very, very encouraging. Now, I, I think I, I said this to one school yesterday that yeah. came and spoke to us. If it's an old person, I, I can't understand 
when you are doing drama, why you need to have this? Uh, like I said, <clears throat> I'm a senior citizen. I don't, I don't work like that. I may be not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I'm also a senior citizen. Most, more senior. There you go. But, but I can still what I'm trying to <laughs> say is you, you don't have to make that person uh, uh, typical. <clears throat> typical bent. If you're doing that bent whole thing, you need to make sure that your voice projects. Because sometimes when you're talking here, and I think you're... Uh, main actress had a problem because the costume was getting caught because she was bending she down. Yeah, she kept tripping. Those are things that you need to think about, even when you are designing a costume. Interaction is very important. Drama is all about an action that brings about a reaction. So the action, as the action happens, the reaction has started which means the pace of the play will actually be good because the, 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 the other person's reaction yeah. has already started. Not deliver a line, wait, and, and then take her. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it's an interaction. So you need to have eye contact mm -hmm. with your fellow players, not come forward because uh, certain places where it's very important that the person should be actually looking at the... Exactly. The emotions yeah. need to be And evoked. also when anger is not just shouting. Sometimes uh, a glare, a look can make a person And sadness, uh, Isn't wailing, and wailing and crying all the time. I think these are general comments. To general, all the no, not only. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, is anybody here from uh, school two on day one, seventeen? Yes. Um, Love the way you presented yeah. that whole thing. Use of space. We, we have taken on use of space. Again, we would say an area that um, kept us wanting was interaction. That was delivering lines, delivering lines, right? Um, another general comment when it comes to casting. You can, every, there are lots of people who are good at acting. The trick is who is good or who matches the part. That is what is critical. So please keep in mind, in future, you will have an abundance of thespians in your school. However, pick the critical person you require who may even have it in his or her personality to play that Seventeen was also yeah, and and Dan, the the menacing uh, characterization that Dan played was, please commend him for us. He was good. Yeah. Uh, school number three, Seagull, Shehov. Okay. Um, we spoke to them um, yesterday yes, as well. Kudos to. Um, was that young gentleman's first play, apparently, um, or first production. So kudos to picking something that not only stretched him, but also stretched his cast. So well done. It's nice to see young people not staying to the safe areas. So that was very, very encouraging for us to see. Um, in that play, I think in the, when I would like to commend, uh, commend Arkadina, who played the diva <laughs> beyond wanting for anything else. Um, but again, um, we will 
err on the side of caution to say that make sure the period, the author, when you pick authors like Shehav, etc., you need to understand him here. And then you will get the essence of the play. The internet is there now. <laughs> Just Google. <laughs> Um, uh, school number five, Othello. Nobody? Okay, we can skip that. Oh no, that was, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, school number five. School number four. School number five is St. Joseph. Day one, school number four. Midsummer Night's Dream. Loyola ah, they're here. Loyola College. Yeah. You can say the schools now. Oh really? I don't know them. Sorry. Okay, I'll tell them as well. So four is Loyola. Uh, I mean, it's a nice Um, General comments. We were blown away by the fact that all the female parts were best played by men. <laughs> A few, not just one, a few, where Indu and I would go, boy, <laughs> boy, it's a boy. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Not to say. Uh, but, but I have to say, <laughs> all the, the girls, yeah. overall, were very good. Yes. Strong. Ah, very strong. strong. Girls played amazing male roles. So there's something to remember in that for future. <laughs> uh, may I add that that is why CBB gives the award to the role, not the sex of the actor yes. or actress. A girl can play a boy and if, he's, if she is good in the role as the best male actor, she gets the award. Vice versa, a boy can play a girl and if he's good at that particular role, he gets it as the female role. Because I think from time immemorial, that is how theater works. From the time we didn't have women on stage. Uh, in this interaction, I have to say, was one of the uh, plays that worked. Mm. The choreography, the movement. Yeah. Um, you created chaos, yet you didn't make it chaotic for the audience. Right? Well rehearsed. I don't know how, how, uh, how much you rehearsed, yet the perception came as well rehearsed. Um, <laughs> the confidence every single actor exuded. There were a few. There were a few plays where it's natural, people are nervous, but there were a few plays, come the lights, everybody became that character. That is rarely seen in school theatre. So it was a welcome change, a refreshing change for us to watch that confidence just exude so freely from such young people. So, well done. Um, yeah. So, school number six from day one, Othello. No one. Okay. Okay. So, anyone here from day two or can we go home? <laughs> Everybody's here from day two. Okay. So, school number one, day two, Midsummer Night's Dream. Royal International. Royal International. No. School, uh, blah, blah, blah. School number two, ideal husband, Oscar Wilde. Holy family. Holy family. Um, uh, Are that your husband, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Who played Phipps? The <laughs> well done. Yeah. Absolutely blank face. Yes, my lord. No, my lord. Very good. 
Lord Goring and Phipps played off each other uh, nicely. It was yeah. nice to see. Um, and there was interaction. Yes. Well. Now, general comments. When you are doing comedy and when you are doing satire, or, or as Wilde is the king, Oscar Wilde is the king of sarcasm, pace, momentum, you have to keep it. It has to be sharp. Your exchanges must be quick. Entrances, exits, everything needs to be to the minute, to the second. If you slump, it's hard to... Actually, pace was a bit of a problem yes. then. Picking up your cues. And remember that Oscar Wilde is all about sly humor. You know, it's like an off shot. He'll slice you to pieces, you walk six feet and then realize, hang on a second, he sliced me. You need to play that. But, young cast, um, it was good. Uh, chalk circle? Good shepherd, kind of. Good shepherd? No. Yeah. Here? Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> nice beginning. Um, I really enjoyed the beginning. Um, and enjoyed the end also. Yes. <laughs> uh, as, as, as that. Now. My comments of that character is we had moments of greatness. It's hard to sustain that character throughout. I know when other people are speaking. However, you are a drunk judge. When you were active, you were great. But careful. You are still visible to the audience. And this is again general. Sustain your role. Overall, yeah. Pace was good. And um, it was a good production. Yeah. That was interaction yeah. and emotions. Interaction and emotions were visible. Uh, importance of being earnest, school number four. St. Bridget's Convent. <laughs> We'd like to commend this school on diction, clarity of speech, excellent articulation. One school out of both days that weren't screaming to be heard. Um, special comment to directors and people who assist schools, start by breathing, with breathing exercises and teaching your young players articulation and the clarity of speech. Because when you shout, your voice starts to shrill. And from somewhere there, you hear shrilling. Clarity of speech when on stage <coughs> is a must. So kudos to St. Bridget's Convent. You were clear and very crisp. Yeah. Uh, just say. Uh. Uh. <laughs> you may... Uh, the use of creativity in movement must match the theme of the play. Something that we found distracting and untidy, I'm sorry to say, were the moving props. It didn't seem to match with the play. Importance of being earnest is about snobbery, it's about class in society, etc., etc. Now, Re Lady Bracknell was the role model maybe, for want of a better phrase, of that era and that social standing. So 
Careful. Snob. Snob. Thank you. No, she no. She played the role there. <laughs> played the, we're not calling you a snob. <laughs> <laughs> the character is a snob. Right? But be careful. It must fit. It must <laughs> gel. Mm. And maintain pace. You have to maintain pace. Interaction was good, all After that was good. After two Oscar Wilde, I think their pace was better. Better, than, better yeah. Better than uh, their Oscar. Yes. School number five, Hamlet. St. Peter's. St. Peter's. Nobody there? They are there. Definitely there. <laughs> Uh, start men. To tell? You tell. You tell. You tell. You tell. Yeah, both of us are <laughs> you tell. Tell. I'm going. You tell. I can't tell. Ah, you did? Okay, the conflict. <laughs> uh, nice beginning. Nice ending also. <laughs> uh, the use of theatre craft. No, no, what's this school? They missed the comments, I think. Or you can. What school are you from? Why now? Okay, take a seat. Not come to you yet. Take a seat. Uh, again, clear speech. So thank you. We didn't have to uh, strain to understand, which was good. Interaction was there from the start. Uh, the use of theatre craft. You see. Props, lights, effects are all add-ons. What matters are the actors. The use of their, your body, your face, that is what matters. That is what holds the audience. Right? And they did it. Yes. Without any. Yeah. Um, We'd like to commend your Hamlet. You changed your personality so seamlessly. From tormented, to mad, to angry, to vengeful, to the last part, where it was a mix of all. The facial expression, um, the eyes, mostly, um, is good. Another general comment to everybody, when you pick a play, make sure your actors understand it. If you pick a scene, they must read the whole play, not just memorize the lines. So you have to be aware of who you are playing, what is happening to your character in that specific scene you are playing. Right? Uh, and overall, I think it was a very balanced performance. Yes. You couldn't pick any weak plays. Yeah. Everybody played together, so very good um, teamwork. teamwork. Claudius, I would like you to use more facial expression in your future performances. Um, you have the ability of the height and the presence. You have very good voice, but the voice is not matching the facial expression. Um, number six, Midsummer Night's Dream. Devi Balika. Anybody here? No. Moving on. Number seven, Saint Hamlet. Michael's. Saint Michael's Baticolo. Saint Michael's Baticolo. Um. The, the uh, placing the light. Yes, the were... lighting. Your placement of lighting and your movement at the beginning. Uh, it was difficult to see your facial expressions. Right. Uh, mm. Amazing team. We could, you know, it's a lovely thing to see 
everybody on stage uh, just pulling together. It shows camaraderie, it shows that you've all come together for one thing, to perform, right? Um, when you're using music, however, it may be, again, it's interpretation, but may be good to stick to period music because you used a lot of period music and then that was an interlude of the Titanic. <laughs> I'm not sure whether you want to continue that way, but the use of the music definitely gave a lot towards creating the suspense, right? Hamlet was Hamlet was good. Who played the... Uh, well done. Well done. Yeah. Yes. I think it was un maybe unfamiliarity of the... Uh, but a, a commendable performance overall. Uh, the Intruder School 8. British school. British school? Nobody? <laughs> Faulty Tower School 9. Elizabeth Moyer. Elizabeth Moyer. Um, a refreshing change. <laughs> it was nice to go from Midsummer, Midsummer, Hope, Faulty Towers. Right? Um, yeah. One, one, one thing, I mean, you're, uh, it's easy because you have what, you know what to follow. Yeah. Uh, but when you're bringing it to stage, you have to be careful because, for example, entrances, exits. That's where you got yourself into a bit of a... It was a little uh, distracting and clumsy, right? It takes a lot of guts to... Pick a TV episode and bring it to stage. A <coughs> lot of guts. Yeah. So that was very good. And and this is what school productions are about. You try, you experiment, right? Um, but remember, having uh, the role to easily follow, don't ever be afraid to bring originality into it, right? Don't ever be afraid to do that. Because that shows it's your it's yours. You have owned it. Uh, right, last one. Um, Miss Patricia's place. Mahinda College Girl. Mahinda College Girl. <laughs> ah. Music. At the beginning, drowned. Your Robin. Yeah. Make sure that whenever you are doing a production, if you are, uh, if you don't get a chance of trying out the music and the whatever beforehand, better not use it. Better not use it or have it at a minimum and um, I mean uh, low volume. Low volume and then keep bringing it up slightly so that you don't drown your actors. Yeah. The start was very untidy, right? Um, interaction. Yeah, but then it... It took off. <laughs> um, we would like to commend this school about absolute raw <laughs> use of theatre craft. You explored movement. I have no idea how long and hard you have trained and practiced. Come what may, please be proud of yourselves. Not one person. Not one person was out of sync. That takes a lot of hard work, right? Speak slower. I know that English is not our mother tongue. We are not, no um, drama competition is looking for an elocute. Maybe it's nerves. But remember, 
for whenever you perform again, speak slowly. People are here to watch you and to hear what you say. Momentum, movement, um, and again, every single player exuded confidence, which was nice to see. And, and they enjoyed it. Really. Yes. It showed that all of you guys had a lot of fun. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> say yes, say yes. <laughs> Please don't drown out little Robin. <coughs> he has a lovely mischievous face and he holds attention. So please don't drown him out with the music. Right. Any questions? Uh, sorry. No, we'll announce and then they can come and talk okay, to us. Anyone else? No, it's a judge was doing. Outstation is said lucky and finally said. Outstation school is said lucky and so we have to mention uh, other outstation school award goes through and then before finally. Um so we are going to announce the best outstation school first. Day two, school number ten, behind the college. schools that go to the finals in no particular order. Day one, school four, Loyola College, Nigeria. Day two, school four, St. Bridget's Convent. Day two, school five, St. Peter's College. School 10, Mahinda the College. I'd like to thank all schools who, produ who, who took part in this competition, in the semi-finals of the CBB drama competition this year. I know that you put in a lot of hard work and please remember, yes, it is lovely to be chosen, it is lovely to be part of the winning groups, but if you haven't, it does not mean that it is a terrible effort. It just means that you explore theatre more, that you gain more experience and most importantly, you enjoy what you are doing. The finals are on the 15th at the Bishop's College Auditorium. We start at 6 o'clock. All of you are very welcome to come. The four finalist schools will be performing again in no particular order. I need representatives from these four schools to come to draw the lots here so that we can tell you the order of performance now. Okay? If I want to say and that. if anyone wants to talk to the judges, please come now and you know maybe have school by judge. school is more manageable. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you again. And um, Loyola, Richard, Peter, Mahinda.